Here we go. Continuing. You got the same Morgana. Hey. Are you done thinking or what happened today? I think Futaba's waiting on you. Okay. Hmm, I see. Yes. What? But how? I mean, with this over here? Damn! So that's it. Yes. Futaba's really gotten into analyzing Sophia. So what do you think, Futaba? How Sophia's code look? Well, her programmer is a genius. No doubt about that. You can figure a person out by their code, and not just their skill level. Their habits, thought processes, even their personalities are there. This code is so advanced that even I can't read it and comprehend it right away. It'll take me weeks, even months, to actually grasp how Sophia works. Take you months? Whew, that's a serious program. I don't understand. Do you mean I'm impressive? Yeah, you're impressive. You're some kind of super AI. If you ever went public, everyone would call Emma Old Hat. Old Hat? Hmm. When something was popular at one point but stopped being popular, it becomes old hat. It's a saying people don't really use anymore. Okay, I've got it. You are very knowledgeable, Futaba. That she is, that she is. Don't go teaching her too much weird stuff, okay? While we're at it, did you see anything about Sophia's past? Her programmer's name, or a company's maybe? Ah, <sighs> nothing yet. And most of those leave a signature of some sort in their work, too. <sighs> oh, well. Anyway, I'm gonna keep cracking at it from home. I'll let you know once I find anything new. Okay. You got this. Mm-hmm. I'll crack it yet. Well, folks, time for me to make like a tree. She made... like a tree? We say goodnight to, to, to Futaba, then head up to bed ourselves. Boy, was that a hell of a day. You can say that again, Morgana. I never would have imagined something like this would happen. I just wanted to have fun. I know, but we don't have a choice. We'll cut loose once things are settled. Well, the metaverse reappearing may have been a surprise, but even that doesn't compare with Sophia. 
Did you call for me? We were just talking about how you're a huge mystery. Says the talking cat. <laughs> Too say. Uh, good point. Wait, I don't have to take that from some mystery app. By the way, how does some top-of-the-line program lose all its memory, huh? I mean, AI are supposed to be super smart, right? That is... Inarguably true. Aw, oh, don't get too down over it. I am humanity's companion. If I am not helpful, then I am useless. You're not useless, Sophia. Don't be so hard on yourself. At least you remember that much, right? Right. I think that means it's important. But is being helpful all you'll do to become a good companion? Is that not how it works? Please explain. How else can one be a companion? Huh? Well, uh... <laughs> uh, that's, uh... I guess you just have to find a way to understand the human heart. Hearts? Uh, right. Then you'll be able to empathize with other people and be a good companion to them. I guess. The human heart. Look, just... just don't worry about it. All you need to do is join us and learn from all the kinds of people we meet. In exchange, you lend a hand to the Phantom Thieves. So I guess you could call this a deal. Okay, that is a decent deal. Especially since it should help me become a good companion for humanity. Yep, so long as it's good with our leader. Let's do this together. Okay, we'll do this together. Then it's a deal. Glad to have you on board, Sophia. We've got plenty of scouting to do tomorrow. We should get some rest. All right. Okay. Good night, Morgana. Red. We went back to our former hideout in Shibuya to go check out the jail together. Great! Everyone's here. We're going to be infiltrating the jail. Are we ready? Yep. We've done this many a time. I can't imagine anyone being phased by this. <laughs> yeah, bro! Bring it! Uh, you sound nervous, Futaba. We're very short on intel, so we need to be cautious. We'll just scout the general area for this trip. We use Emma to enter, right? Is there anything special we need to do? Um, no, we just opened the app and said the right keyword. Find the right name in Emma's search results, then enter the correct keyword on the friend request screen. Yeah, you got it, Futaba. Ah, leave it to the super hacker to explain this stuff. That had nothing to do with hacking. Even you should know how to explain it. All that's left is to choose our point of entry. There will be no enemies in the area from which we escaped yesterday. Upon reaching the relevant location, you will only need to speak the keyword. Right. Seems all that's left is to trust Sophia and see where she leads us. Then let's do this thing! Well, did we make it? Oh, your phantom thief attire. Yeah, you too. Oh, I'd forgotten this feeling. The fusion of form and function. Truly magnificent. Look, it's Beauty Thief! My name is Beauty Thief! <laughs> Let's <laughs> not fool around here. I admit, though, these clothes do bring back some memories. We can reminisce later. Take a look at that view. So, this is the jail? Just what is that building? This place is bonkers. Nothing escapes the atrocious color scheme of this place. It looks like that because of someone's cognition, correct? Right. 
Most likely Alice's. The distortion has to be exceptionally strong there for a reason. So you're saying that's the stronghold of the Queen ruling over this jail? Its appearance certainly fits the notion. The buildings around here still look pretty normal, though. Looks like that place over there has a limited range of distortion. The first time we came here, we entered by the crossing down there. That's where we saw a group of cop shadows taking stuff out of people's chests. Oh, you mean that jewel we saw? The hell was up with that? That may have been a desire. Yo, Phantom Thieves! Cute, Sophia. That is true. She is extremely cute. Such a fascinating form you've taken. I can't stop staring at the beautifully curved lines. Yusuke has entered for full Yusuke mode. I've never seen an outfit like that. Can I try floofing it? Floofing? I think she wants to get a feel for the fabric of your clothes while hugging you, Sophia. Request denied. I am neither a child nor a pet. No, that's not right. Aww, no floofing. By the by, how does H work for an AI? No floofing to floof. Not right now. Sophia, tell us more about the desire you mentioned. That is the term used by shadows here. They say things such as, seize their desires, and we must offer these desires to the monarch. Based on their language and behavior, I speculate the aforementioned jewel was in fact a desire. That does make sense. When we saw Alice here, she mentioned desires too. So if Alice is the monarch, then she really is the ruler of this jail. But these desires, are they actually made up of the things people desire? Seizing desires of all things, what use would they have for those? Finding out what happened to the folks who got jumped could tell us something. Yep. Where could those victims be now? I don't see a place from here where they may be held. I don't know. Maybe they're being held somewhere else. Say, about those people you witnessed being attacked, are you sure they were humans? What do you mean? Good question, Makoto. Well, couldn't they have been shadows or something? If there are humans getting captured and imprisoned in this jail right now, wouldn't there be a huge commotion in our world? Groups of people going missing out of the blue. Good point. Now there's a point. I haven't heard a peep about that online. So no one is actually disappearing from reality? I see. Shadows. What are shadows? A shadow's the parts of you suppressed within your subconscious. It's basically just your other self. Does that mean their main selves are all right? No. The shadow and the actual self are two sides of the same coin. So if a desire is taken from someone's shadow, what happens to the person in reality? I gotta say, I'm getting a bad vibe from all this. Same here, Futaba. Are they trying to influence reality by doing something to the shadows? Then how are we to act? This sounds like a crisis. Shouldn't we rescue the victims right away? No, that was just speculation. After all, we've only witnessed the cognitive world side of things. Until we find out how all this is affecting the real world, we can only know half of what's going on. I'd say the first thing we need to do is investigate Alice and her victims. Plus, if we make the wrong move in the cognitive world, there's a chance the ruler could have a shutdown in the real world. Right. We need to get the story straight before we make any real moves or we'll just be doing damage. That's right. Let's look into our victims. We can try, but do you really think we can just stumble on them like that? Maybe if we look into people who have changed recently, we could get some leads? What say we get into that once we're out of here? Okay, yeah. let's get out of here. <sighs> On seems bothered by this. Well, 
We've confirmed the presence of the jail. Next, we look into Alice and any potential victims. And how do we do that? Look into what? The usual rumor mills. Looking for anything about Alice. Gossip about her being abusive or other messed up stuff. Okay. Good idea. Let's gather any intel that we can, both online and on the streets. Huh. I've got the web crawling covered. But if we're ever to gain conclusive proof of any rumors, I believe we'll need direct access to her at some point. Direct access to a pop star sounds awfully tough. Uh... Yes, on. Uh, about that. I may get to meet Alice tomorrow. Hey? What? For real? How? Well, I had asked the modeling agency's president if I could meet her sometime. I heard she'd be on a TV show filming nearby, so I asked if I could visit the set. I was hoping to learn from her by watching her in action. I gave up on it after making plans with you guys, but I might be able to get the ball rolling again in time. The timing's nothing short of kismet. Yeah! Way to go, Lady Anne! But I'm not making any promises about it, and there's no way we'd get to approach her either. Plus, our full group's just too big. The most I could even ask to bring is just one more person. Well, I think I was just volunteered. Yep, everybody's looking at me. Looking at Ren. Well, that settles that. We're counting on you. Give Alice shit when you meet her so you can get some evidence out of her. How exactly? I don't know. Try hitting on her. <sighs> Idiot. Her manager will be right there, too. She's not gonna pay us any attention anyway. I think I'll tag along with you. We'll be fine so long as no one sees me. For today, let's focus on her potential victims. Okay. Let's go. Looks like everyone's out gathering intel. All right, let's not fall behind. Okay, talking and examining. Approach people and press B to speak to them or listen on uh, conversations to get information relating to the monarch. Intel can also be gathered from sources other than people. Local shops may sometimes have valuable information on the monarch as well. Okay. Anything to say, Futaba? Uh, too many people can't do it. Why I go home? Yikes, are you okay, Futaba? I thought you said school had gotten you used to the crowd. I interested in the summer vacation edition of Shibuya. The summer party is just too much for me. Uh -huh. And even ignoring that, going up to people I don't know and eavesdropping on them, or them, on them, or pumping them for until I was way out of my league. Don't stress yourself over it. That's true. He's right. Leave it to us. You got the online front locked down, Futaba. This should be helpful. I can lend you a hand, Futaba. We can both lock down the online front. Oh. Ooh, thanks, Sophia. Time to join forces as a Cyber Sleuth tag team. Okay, I'll help however you'd like. Nice recruiting, Futaba. We're counting on you two. Thanks! Thanks for talking to me, guys. I'm feeling a little more comfortable out here now. Oh, hey. Why don't you take this rank for helping me out? <laughs> May aid you on your quest for intel. One selfie papaya. Okay, Sophia, send me all the data you can find on operational behavior report in the area recently. Start with the last two weeks. Leave it to me. Got it. I'll send them your way in just a moment. Best of luck with analysis for Taba. Okay, and there's Yusuke. What does he have to say? Interesting. Alice is more popular than I ma had imagined. I wouldn't be able to avoid hearing people speak of her even if I wanted to. 
So I was wondering, I mean, it's an intriguing and virtually striking space to work with in, as an artist. Okay, he has nothing else to say. Hmm? Hmm? Ah, uh, so hot out. You ever wonder why we have to wear jackets in this weather? Our company is so old fashioned, forcing us business to wear suits. Oh. Oh. Looks like uh, all the public smoke. It must be hot being cramped in such a small a into a much a small area. Mm hmm. The statue of the loyal dog Bushiko. Dogs aren't human, but they could they still be considered humanity's companion? What? They are doesn't matter. M most important thing is like trusting each other. Hmm, I'll do my best. Hey, okay, go to Central Street. Dude, I think found I found someone that was and the jail. Can you come by the alley behind the airsoft shop? <sighs> I know, I knew people went, went crazy for her stuff, but this is something else. I kept hearing stories about relationships going south, even folks ending up hospitalized for exhaustion, and Alice's name always comes up. Could she really have to do something with all of it? But how and why? Oh, yeah. I guess there's no point in getting stressed over it. Oh, I know. Are you hungry? No good ideas on an empty stomach, you know? I'm going to grab a crepe and start the brainstorm. Yay! I already know which kind I want. Extra chocolate and extra oil cream. Ooh, and maybe I'll have a, um, add strawberries. Just hearing that burst my belt. Really? Then there's no reason to go all out at this point. That's... Throw a triple scoop of vanilla and a full mixed berry topping on there. See you later. Once I have my brain food, I'll get back to gathering until I'm putting it all together. Stay hydrated, okay? Man, it, it's a hot one. What do you have to say? Bell hug girl. Alice, of course I've heard of her. Everyone in the class has. Especially the boys, they love her. My friend's boyfriend even went as far as breaking off their relationship, all because he took a sign interest in Alice. I know she's cute now, but cute enough to leave someone behind. Ah, uh, six percent. Check out the guy with the brown hair. Wasn't he at Alice's thing? Hmm? 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 Come on, man. I need the money, please. Again? I just sent you money for all your Alice obsessed bullshit. I know, but there's a new Alice original coming out, and I really, really need it. Like, I won't be even be able to think or breathe if I don't get it. That guy with the brown hair is the same guy we saw before, right? Dude, why are you suddenly me obsessed over some random ass out in the first place? Are you serious, though? You actually went to a loan shark? I can't believe you. <laughs> so he's buying money? Buying from Sandy Landers and I just get Sandy Merchant's eyes in return? That ain't normal. And don't, didn't the other guy say he suddenly got obsessed? Could it be the influence of the metaverse? At first I figured it might be one of them from the blackout look in his eyes, and yep, ain't no mistake in that. Kind of crazy. Damn it. That dude in front of Bichico was acting pretty much the same, right? No way, that's a coincidence. Alice? 
this? Is this an Emmy or something? Sorry, but I hate her guts. Go ask someone else. Us is a type of choice with people's lives. She only cares about fans lying her pockets. Hmm? Hmm? Us, you're so freaking adorable. No one could ever compare to you. I'll just, I'll do anything for you. Buy your f fancy jewelry, take you out. The finest restaurants, I, I'd sign my life over to you if I could. Mm -hmm. This guy's completely lost it. It's like he can't even see us. I've heard of being crazy for someone, but this is way too far. I heard some intriguing news. It seems that there's a store on Central Street that carries clay from Alice's brand. Perhaps we can get some information there? What do you have to say? Hmm? 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 Hey, hey! Anything interesting playing? No, that we have time to watch. Not that we have time to watch a movie right now. Oh, hmm? sucking. Hmm? Hmm? <laughs> so, Dragon, like a Yakuza, is finally out. I can't just go by myself, though. Should I grab a couple of tickets? <laughs> How long have you been there? No, no, no need. The poster just caught my eye, that was all. Hey, anyway, I heard quite a few employees at this CR were let go of all of a sudden. And the rumor is, it's all because they weren't fans of Alice. What's that about? No one gets fired for such an absurd reason without something going on behind the scenes. I'm going to ask around a little bit more about it. Let me know when you're calling a day and we can regroup. Mm. Isn't having the lock as, as far from the station cabin convenient? Nothing here. Hmm? May I have a word? You no, see... Knowing that, out of all the people I saw going to the stores that carry her product, I saw... Knowing that, I, of all the people... Uh, of all the people I saw going to the stores that carry her products, most of them were dead-eyed men, and every single one of them left with armfuls of merchandise. Consistent bench person Purchasing like that can't be an everyday occurrence. Okay. Hmm? Welcome. Alice Harari, ooh. You mean the Alice clothing line? Why, yes, we do carry it. I'm so sorry, we are all sold out. We only put them in out 10 minutes ago, but the fans came and, and it swiped them all up. I'm so sorry that you missed it. Really? Wow, gone in 10 minutes? I guess it's possible, but those fans have some dedication to buy it out so fast. Let's be sure to remember this. 100%, investigation complete. Thousand information research going. Why don't we meet up and share what we gathered so far? What are you gonna do? Hmm, the code's got a good point. Should we gather everyone up? Yep, let's do it. That's true. All right, then let's go meet up at the connecting bridge. So, how'd it go? Anyone learn anything useful about potential victims? Yeah, we spotted a couple familiar faces. We found some of the people who were attacked in the jail. You really found them? Which yep. means the ones ambushed in the jail were indeed only their shadows and not their human forms. But there's still one thing. They're all acting real weird. Weird how? They're all totally crazy for Alice. 
They're even getting loans so they can buy more shit at her store. That's pretty weird. Hmm. Now that you mention it, I saw others behaving similarly in Shibuya. Yeah, like this one couple nearly splitting up when the boyfriend bought everything Alice-related he could find. There were even people let go from their jobs because they weren't Alice fans themselves. I've even found some reports of Alice fans straight up assaulting outspoken critics of hers. That's fucked up. At first I figured Alice was just the latest fad, but this seems so much worse than that. Maybe the people who had the desires taken from them went crazy. If that's the case, then we have to do something. Agreed. If such aberrant behavior continues to rise, we could easily find ourselves in an unwinnable position. With the Metaverse involved, we're the only people who can stop this. Mm-hmm. We have to help. Yep. It looks like you've finished gathering intel on Alice's victims. Would you like to investigate her next? Tomorrow is still our new t die time. Yep. Let's break for today and pick this back up tomorrow after your trip. Good luck with the Alice visit, you three. Thanks. We're on it. Yep. I made my way back to the barn. Oh, heading out? Don't be too late coming back. You got it. Hmm, boss? This curry is fantastic. Oh, thanks. A certain TV studio filming location. So this is going out live, huh? Even I'm starting to get a little nervous. You still good? Hey, stay in the bag. If they find out we brought a pet in here, they'll kick us out. What? A pet? Quite on the set. Well, I guess if I can't be seen, you two do your best to blend in, too. We're fine. All we're gonna do is watch. Should I also make efforts to blend in? Yeah, just hang tight for a bit, Sophia. No prob. Oh, here she comes. Miss Alice on the set! Holy crap! Oh, she really is adorable. Cutting back from commercial. Back in five, four, three. And now, on to the hottest meet and greet segment of the show. We have a special guest with us today. She has taken the fashion world by storm and conquered it. Please welcome the designer, Alice Hiragi. Uh, thanks for having me. <laughs> Thank you for joining us, Alice. You sure have been keeping busy these days, haven't you? It's only thanks to all my fans that I've been able to do what I do. And what a number of fans you have. Talk about strong support. Yep. Am I wrong to presume that you designed the outfit you're wearing today? It's just so cute. Very expressive. <laughs> Thank you so much! The theme of my current line is Alice in Wonderland. <laughs> I feel like fashion is a rare and beautiful thing that can take anyone into a world built on their dreams. You can find a side to yourself that maybe you didn't even know you had. Fashion can do so much for us. I try my hardest to focus on that whenever I design a new piece. Such wise words from a successful industry veteran. What inspiration originally spurred you into fashion design, if you don't mind? <laughs> to be honest, I was very shy growing up. I didn't have any friends at school. I would get so lonely. I wanted to change so much, but I just couldn't figure out how to do it. Then, one day, I saw the most beautiful dress in a shop window. When I put it on, 
The whole world felt new. It was like I was hit with this blinding ray of light. I really can change. That's what wearing it made me think. I strive each day to give that same feeling to every person who tries on one of my designs. I want to give that ray of light to others. That's what inspired me to enter the fashion industry. Really? Huh. Haha, <laughs> now I can see why the young people love you so much. How do you handle all the dating... rumors? Uh, 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 what? Uh, uh, something's not right with this guy. <laughs> uh, oh. What's going on? I don't get it. Is this some kind of scripted thing? I wonder what's wrong. <laughs> Are you okay? Uh, Alice... I... I love you, Alice. Please, spend your life with me. What? <laughs> uh, hey, what is all this, huh? Hey, boy. Here we go. I didn't realize until now. I love you. Uh, this is really out of the blue. Alright, stop it. <laughs> yeah, this bit's going on a little too long. I mean it! I can't live without you! What? What? What in the hell? And what about me, asshole? Oh boy. Is this real? Those two were engaged already, right? Wow, what a train wreck. I can't believe this. Cut the commercial! Now! I am begging you! Alice! Please! Just shut up already! What has happened to you? What is this mess? <laughs> oh boy, Alice seems pleased. This isn't good. They cancel filming on the spot and escort everyone off the set. That... That was actually live on TV, right? Ooh, I can't believe he spilled his beans like that. Even I thought he went overboard with it. So, then do you think that host had his desire taken by Alice? Seems like it. Maybe. Like, what kind of professional host would do that on live TV? True. He didn't seem like he was in his right frame of mind. Like, he wasn't even there, and someone else was controlling him. Morgana, that's it! I don't know if all this is right, but his personality changed like when someone's heart was stolen. After the treasure? Maybe Alice can control anyone whose desire she steals. If the desire is turned over to the ruler, they wind up under their control. Like with Alice. I see. That would really explain it. Amazing as always, Lady On. Control your thirst, Morgana. But that would mean... She's brainwashing people. Yeah, looks like it. <laughs> Alice said she wants to be a ray of light for people. That's what I've always wanted, too. I read about her in a magazine once, and I just really felt where she was coming from. It's why I asked to come to the show in the first place. I wanted to see her in person. But now, I wonder if that was all just... Lady On. It's so disappointing, especially for Lady On. <laughs> Man, that was great! That was... Alice? Quick, hide! Miss Alice, this is a public hall. Please, you must keep your voice down. Eh, it's fine. See? No one in sight. <laughs> anyway, though, did you see that lady's face? She totally lost it up there. 
all those cushy, talking head types make the best bases when things finally stop going their way. Miss Alice, do you think you could stop doing these things? Huh? What do you mean? I was the victim on stage. <laughs> what is it that you want me to stop doing? I... I don't know how you're doing it, or why. But after seeing that, there has to be something. You... Oh! So you want me to punish you again? Oh. Ah, please! I'm sorry! Oh, oops! Damn. What a terrible accident! Just like what happened on set. A terrible accident. I'm still upset over it, too, you know. Isn't it your job to take my side? Whoa, 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 whoa. Or are you asking to end up broken like my last manager? Do you want to get stuck up in your room like he is? Ugh. Well, it doesn't matter anyway. I don't want toys that don't do as they're told. Stop! Then beg me to forgive you until it hurts as much as you hurt me with your words. Why don't you do what you did yesterday? Grovel with your face all messed up with snot. I'll take another video if you'd like. Come on, beg. Do it! Do it! I'm not gonna stop until you do, got it? <sighs> hey, the guy sounds like he's in real pain. If she doesn't cut it out... Hey, stop! Damn. Asses are real big. Uh, and who is this? Goodness, it is the crap. It was way too far. You said you wanted to be a ray of light for people. How the hell does that help? Uh. Oh, <laughs> we were just playing around. Weren't we? Yeah. Bullshit. So you'll go get the car now? Oh, hey, wait! Hang on. Uh, are you on Takamaki? Uh, you know who I am? Yeah! I know all the models. I read every fashion magazine the day it comes out. Alice Haragi is just a vicious Katy Perry. Actually, I really admire you. Would you like to be friends? <laughs> you obviously got Emma, right? <laughs> My keyword is... Don't bother. I'd never yeah. accept someone who treats another person like that. You tell her off, Lady On. Aw, too bad. But I do appreciate honesty. So, how about you? Would you like to be friends? Apologize, apologize to your manager first. Like I said, we were just playing around. Hey, hang on. You were at 7.05 the other day, weren't you? What of it? We're done here. Let's go. Yeah. Oh, that's a bummer. But I know I gave him one of my cards. Why doesn't he obey? Because there's a Persona user and he's not a stupid idiot. And then I stormed out and we came back here. <sighs> Sorry about that, by the way. I was just so upset. We don't blame you. No apology needed. You did a fantastic job finding out about Alice. Yeah, it's all thanks to you, Lady On. Once Lady On had her on the ropes, she whipped out her phone and tried adding them all on Emma right away. From what we saw, she might know that she can use Emma to lure people into her jail. She gets them into her jail, then takes their desires so they'll do what she says. I suspect she's been doing this for a while now. I see. That does explain things. But what is her end goal? I can't imagine such awful behavior actually doing her any good. Ain't it the same as with Kamoshida? That's yeah. a good point. 
She seemed to be having a blast being such an awful person. Whatever it is, she has the gall to set up that kind of tragedy on live TV. She isn't in her right mind anymore. The longer we leave this be, the more victims that pile up. And it's already yep. gotten to be quite a pile. Now's yep. the time to act. But just how should we act? Is there a treasure in her jail? That's the tricky part. I am picking up a faint scent of something treasure-like, but... What is a treasure? It's the condensed core of a ruler's desires. That's what gives birth to a palace and powers it. Usually, we just take the treasure to trigger a change of heart in our target. Hmm, that's interesting. What if there is no treasure there? We can't change Alice's heart. For now, let's focus on tracking the treasure-like scent Morgana mentioned. That should at least put us on the trail for clues. Right. Question. Why must we change Alice's heart? Why? Because she's hurting people. So Alice only needs to be stopped. Changing her heart is unnecessary. No, beating her shadow won't help. Worst case scenario, it could wind up causing her to die in the real world. Death. That is an acceptable outcome. No, 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 no. Bad outcome. Dude, that's... I'm humanity's companion. I'm supposed to determine the best choices for humanity. Killing someone is not the best out choice. Alice Hiraki makes people suffer every day. We should ensure she stops this as soon as possible. Not by killing her. Why not do so? It's part of Phantom Thief Code. I do not understand. I want to understand. But I cannot. Where is the flaw in my logic? I do see where you're coming from, Sophia. Alice is doing horrible things. We could just help all those people without caring what happens to her. The metaverse is serious. You can end a life without ever being endangered. Even still, we always choose to change someone's heart instead of harming them. It's part of the Phantom Thieves Code. That's right. Kind of pointless if we gotta stoop to the bad guy's level to take him down. We never kill. We steal the desires of the wicked and make them change their ways. Mm-hmm. That's why we're the Phantom Thieves of Hearts. Exactly. Kill him, kill her, Haru. Phantom Thieves of Hearts. I've got it. Hearts. I lack a heart. That's why I don't understand the logic of the Phantom Thieves. If only I could understand how hearts work. If I did that, I could become an even better companion. Sophia? I've got it. I will join the Phantom Thieves. I need to learn more about hearts so I can become an even better companion. May I join the Phantom Thieves? If I do so, I am certain I will witness many things about the human heart. I need to learn more about the heart and about the Phantom Thieves. You're already one of us. Thank you. You're Thank welcome. you for joining, Sophia. Welcome to the Phantom Thieves. Glad to have you with us. Let's pick our code name next. Ooh, now the nostalgia's blowing. Mochi. Ah, uh, it should be a bit sweeter than that. Oh, like marshmallow or blamage. Ooh, we're doing dessert names? How about croque and bouche? None of those make great code names or easy to yell. What if we went along the same lines we used with Mona-chan? After all, we met her inside the metaverse the same way. Like, how about Sophie? That's basically her name. I like it. You do? I want to be Sophie. Then you'll be Sophia in this world and Sophie in the metaverse. I guess you could say it's Sophie's choice. Radical, dude. <laughs> Cowabunga. <laughs> Jeez, you're already more human-like than when we first met you. I am constantly learning things, thanks to the internet. I'm learning more words as I speak. Don't pick up any off-putting lingo, okay? Okay, so we got a new member. Now we need to come up with our first mission. We're gonna stop Alice. 
Good. This feels like our duty, considering we became phantom thieves to help anyone suffering. I was one of those people once. That's true. We may not know the victims personally, but it would reflect on us poorly as phantom thieves to not lend a helping hand. That is right, Yusuke. As long as there are people in trouble out there, we won't turn our backs on them. You're right. We're going to be the ray of light for everyone. That even includes Alice. I have registered myself as a phantom thief. All right, the phantom thieves are back in action. I can feel a strong bond with my friends. After throwing a butt... Oh. The bond feature has been unlocked as the Phantom Thieves to deepen their bonds. They will acquire various bond skills. Bond skills can be purchased with bond points by navigating to the bond on to bond on the command me. Bond points are acquired by raising your bond level. The bond level increases through socializing events in the real world or by fighting battles in the metaverse. Our next step is to make the proper preparations. It's a fact that provision is prevention. We'll all need weapons and other supplies. Since you're the guy with all the connections, we'll leave the shop into you like always. We'll get ourselves ready. Once you are too, just hit us up. Okay. Hey. Okay, let's get our supplies. Let's say we start with the closest destination and head to the Kemi Medical Clinic. Our medicine sure worked wonders for us before I feel I feel way more reassured if we took some with us time with us time too. Okay. What's up? You all came in so sunny that leaves in such a rush. What are you guys up to? Fan thieves is one thing, but never in a million years what well, I expected to actually fight anyway. us. So we have to stop her before she part past the point of no return. Let's get this taken care of so I can get off the summer vacation. Then right on, lay on. Gotta have our barbecue camp out. Hey. Here, take it, my treat. It's a can of manta. Just a little something to start off us off right here. Here's getting back in action. <laughs> might be a bit out of shape. I might be a bit out of shape right now, but I'll bounce back in no time. Okay. Yeah. All right, we're counting yet. Let me know when you're ready to, for some jail action. Okay. This is an internal clinic you were talking about? Yeah, but there's a notice here. Notice, closed for the summer. I will be attending an academic conference and will be out for the summer. Signed, physician tight to me. <laughs> oh man, talk about bad timing. At least you can still get some weapons at EY's airsoft shop, right? If that's so. Is that the sapphire? At, on Central Street in Sibiria, I saw it while we're gathering information on Alice. Yeah, that's a, it, all right. Either way, let's head to Sibiria first, man. Yeah, I don't really use quick travel. Prefer not to. Say, Yusuke. I've been thinking. That jail. It was eerie just how similar to the palace it was. If it was similarly created by a human heart, I can't but the shiver at the thought of how that person sees the world. 
Did it upset you? Not quite. Actually, it's rather the opposite. To actually bear witness to such a warped mind is very stimulating. You sure do march to the beat of your own drum, Yusuke. I'm relieved to see your personal troubles are well behind no. you. No. I'm still rather plagued with problems. The soft cane keep used to exceed my attention and allow me to focus on my art. Even stripping bare naked doesn't abate my, the intensity. But. Despite my concern of heat struck, I cannot afford air conditioning. My soul savers are tap water and the salt stockpile I've maintained. But I sent let summer defeat me. My frugality won't, cannot be stopped. Please don't die in us, Yusuke. Ah, uh, right. I now recall your act. Mom also lacks air conditioning. Right? In that case. Here, it could, this could benefit you at some point. No need to be modest. Rock salt. Okay. Yes. If you don't care to crush it up and use it with a drink, you can even resort to licking it. May this rock salt be the secret to our su success in the jail. You are quite the sector character, Yusuke. I still can't get over just how useful Emma is. Just now, for me, it put together her time bill, gave me its nutritional breakdown, and even showed me the closest place with ingredients. All I had to do was ask what I should do about dinner. Pretty easy to see why people are such fans. But then I remember that the sap is what let us in, get into the metaverse, and I get creeped out all over again. What's the haps, chaps? Pick up supplies. I'm working on my crowd mode right now. All these shadows in the jail were just really starting to get to me. <laughs> I figure I'd be more used to them if I observe their real work versions more. Yeah, uh, it's worth a shot. See you later. Don't sweat. Too much getting ready. Give us a call when it's infiltration time. You're so cute, Papa. You're like the sister to me. I thought I was right, outright concerned about how things were going and say, but well, now what do I know that this jail is, this is all part of some jail. Mm. I don't even want to consider how all these people are shells in that jail. Okay. It's a door to the velvet room. I may need it. her assistant because I, I should probably go talk to her. Oh well. Welcome oh. to the velvet room. The gears of fate turn yet again, bringing you close to calamity once more. While your hope may be the smallest of seeds now, and its true power unknown, by nurturing the possibilities within you, this seed shall sprout and become your strength against calamity. Now, I shall act in my master's stead and watch over you through your journey. Are we counting on you? Yes, I share the sentiment. As you already know, your power of the wild card allows you to wield multiple personas. By offering up your personas for execution, you are able to fuse them into new, more powerful ones. This is once more the key to overcoming the evil will spreading distortion. Due to my master's absence, I will perform the executions with my own personal fusion equipment. Very well. Unfortunately, this means you will be unable to harness the power of personas you once harbored within you. However, this journey is sure to draw out your true potential should you make the most of your meetings. Meetings? 
Soon it will all be clear. Trickster, you have once again become a prisoner of fate. Unleash the chains that bind you and take back the people's hearts, their desires. Doing so will surely lead you to the hope that will drive off the impending ruin. Leave it to me. As long as your will is undeterred, I too will hold nothing back in supporting you. With that addressed, let us turn at once to Persona Fusion. Develop room. In develop room, you can fuse or strengthen your personas this air and, conti and continue to create more powerful personas. Fuse two personas to gain a new one. Okay. Use a number of personas you currently have to create new personas using the fusion will be lost. In order to fuse a given persona joker level must be greater than or equal to new persona starting level. Or fusing tips on fusing a stronger persona. Please check the fusion tips on the tutorial sub menu. Please select the persona to acquire. Are you unable to decide? Okay, I gotta do it first. It seems that it can gain new power. It... Choose which skill to inherit. Skill inheritance. During the first step from fusion, it's possible to pass on a number of skills to the new persona. Be aware that, depending on the persona, some skills cannot be inherited. I pass, uh... Yeah. Is this the persona you'd like? Yep. I'm sure. Be born anew. I am Bicorn. Your motives are what grant me strength. Here, take care of this for me. Mask for me. You've tapped into a new power. Okay. You can strengthen the personality you already have required as well. The power of mask you obtain will be battle to strengthening the strengthening process. So let's try it now. Okay. You wish to strengthen it? By spending persona points, you can level up your persona. Be aware that personas can be only leveled up as far as Joker's current level through this method. As you progress through the story, you will be able to strengthen your personas in a way uh, other ways other than leveling them up. Persona points are obtained through either picking up the mask of a persona you are carrying or through fusing or winning personas. Please start by selecting a persona. Okay, we're gonna level up our sun. How much power will you add? Okay. This is what you've chosen? Yep. I'm sure. There, your persona has grown. This process can be repeated to draw out further powers. 
One way to consider a, per a percentage of that is the other self, the growth of is your own growth as well. Please make wise use of this strengthening and sparse. Okay. Our son has learned a new skill. Tarunda. All personas you have, you have previously registered so can be summoned for a fee. You register summon personas. Personas that you have obtained will be coordinated in the MA registry in the velvet room by paying a The registered personas can be summoned with that bill they have had at the time they were registered. The process percent is already registered. Registering then will overwrite the previous entry for the stats and abilities of the version you are currently carrying. You wish to browse the entries? What will you be registering? Yep, I'm gonna... Will you register this persona? Yep. I'm this sure. persona has been registered in its present condition. Okay. Returning already? Yes, it's time to head back. Whenever you feel the need for more, come visit me at any time. Okay, I sure will. I Thank will you. always be by your side. Until next time. Farewell. Farewell, Avenza. Seriously. Hey, you are out of it for a second there. Are you holding up, Kate? I hope you're not overheating heated or anything. EY shop is just up ahead. Let's get you inside pronto. Hmm? Hmm? Don't be so stingy. Do I seriously have to beg right now? Yeah, beg me not to slap you in face for being such a goddamn simp. Damn. Really? Hold on, EY should be here, but it looks like these are closed. Looks like that temporary close sign's been up for a while, too. What should we do? Not getting medicine is bad enough, but EY's not here. We can't, if EY's not here, we can't get any weapons either. Let's head back. We'll have to figure out something else. Just gather the others and brainstorm at the lawn. I guess e is EY is on vacation with his son. Lawn. The airsoft shop's closed. Takemi Clinic's shut down for summer vacation. Where are we gonna get our weapons and medicine now? Talk about shitty timing. This is not good. We can't just return to the metaverse defenseless. I guess we gotta find some other stores. And that seems like it'll take quite some time. What's up? Have a problem? Perhaps I can help. If you would like, I'm happy to lend a hand. Oh yeah! Check this out, Sophia. We need supplies to take with us into the jail. Unfortunately, our usual suppliers are closed. This will assuredly impact our successes in the metaverse. Do you know if there are any suitable stores nearby? Why not just order supplies online? We could do that. But the delay between ordering and actually getting the stuff is way too long. Mm -hmm. Also, we were able to get much more effective medicines from our clinic than we could find online. No prob. The net has it all. Ryuji, is there something you want? Huh? W what do I want? Right. Request anything you want. Uh, okay. A gold bar. Excuse me? What? A gold bar? <sighs> really? Don't be ridiculous. 
Ah, come on. It was just a joke. Nothing else popped into my head when she asked, so... Okay, I've got it. Please wait. Seriously? Hmm? Got what? Hello? Expedited delivery! That was fast. Well, uh, did you really order a gold bar? Uh... Yeah. Whoa! <laughs> Well, someone should open it. Ryuji, you do it. Ryuji, this is your doing! Open it! What? Me? Is this even legal? Well, of course! <laughs> Wait, it is, right? Shit, this is probably just gonna be fake or some toy. Uh, it's not fake. Is that real? Holy shit! <laughs> <laughs> yes, my eyes can't be fooled. There's no doubt. That's real gold. No way! No way is that real! Wow! Now I can open my cafe early! It's like a dream! <laughs> The nervous laughter coming from Haru. Th that uh. needs to go to the police. Right away! Oh, wait! They even believe it showed up like this? Is this a crime? It's okay, everybody! Alright, did that solve your problem? How did you do that? I found an online vendor with expedited delivery. Time is no longer a concern. But a whole gold bar? Where'd you find that? The dark web? Correct, Futaba. It's fine. I broke no laws. The dark web? That's some shady shit right there, Sophia. The transaction was made with cryptocurrency. I will send you an invoice for reimbursement. Oh, that's even worse. With crypto. We have to reimburse you? So, uh, how much did this cost again? Way too fucking much. At least a few million. I guess I had way too fucking much. Send it back? Sorry? I didn't get that. Send the effing thing back! <laughs> <laughs> Hello? Expedited pickup! Thank you for choosing our services! <sighs> I'm relieved they took it back, but... <sighs> that definitely gave us some gray hairs. Some, it, that's an understatement. Jeez, uh, thanks a lot for ordering that, Ryuji. Oh, come on! Who would have thought a gold bar would actually show up here? I've heard of one's mouth writing checks that cannot be cashed, but this is an entirely <laughs> new level. Damn straight, Yos Yusuke. Doesn't the service itself seem pretty awesome, though? That speed, it'll be perfect for anything we need. Let's ask Sophia to find some useful stuff for us. Shall I do that? Sounds great. Okay. I'll make sure to use expedited delivery. Sophia's shop is officially open. Shops. And so Sophia's online shop, you can buy and sell up and protect your accessories and items. The shop's inventory increases via story progression or after certain events. Make sure you're well stocked up before entering a jail. There are also shops which sell goods that aren't found online. Keep an eye out for good deal, good deals you can at the Explorer City. Well, that was a ride, but I guess it turned out okay for us? Yeah, our supply situation's definitely fine now. We don't know what we'll be up against in the jail, though. Let's prepare as well as we can. On level two, at the hideout, you can infiltrate the jail or your Sophia's online shop. Access available or more. Our features will become available as you progress through the story. Thank you. Unlocking bond skills. Bond is now available from the command menu. Spend bond points and obtain bond skills to enhance the abilities of the fam thieves. Certain skills are 
blocked by a level cap. These conditions for unlock the conditions for unlocking these level caps will be revealed as we progress the story. Hmm. Okay. No time sales. A certain bond skill will, will enable limit time sales in Sophia's online shop. For a limited time, specific items will be available to purchase at a lower price. Make sure to jump on the sale if it's an item you would want. Okay. Supplies and limit items. When an item goes out of stock, it may be need to be resupplied. Items like these will restock after enough time passes. Try checking back after flying browsing in the metaverse or progressing through the story. There are also some items that will cease being sold and not be restocked over time. Okay. You want this there. one? Thanks yep. for your patronage. All right, let's begin the operation. Our first goal would be the treasure route, yes? I'm sensing something treasure-like over... that way, towards 705. That's where you were taken when they captured you, right? Yeah. Just thinking about it pisses me off. That piece of shit was so full of herself. So, Alice is there now, huh? You know, it does sort of look like a castle. A castle ruled by a monarch. I admit, it's rather fitting. That's so true, Yusuke. So, we're heading to the castle? Yeah, that sounds good. This jail is crawling with shadows, though. Watch your backs out there. Okay, I'll watch your backs out there. <laughs> Sophie's inaugural heist is a phantom thief. This'll be great. We don't know the opposition will face. Be sure to switch out team members when necessary. Okay. Changing party members. and change party, you can manage who will join the Joker in the jail. Select up three teammates who will best fit your party's needs. You can change your party by opening the command menu and selecting stats. This can be done at any time. As long as you're outside of combat. Good point. We're at your beck and call, Joker. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> Are you okay? I'm gonna. Put on in. <laughs> 